What it do, YouTube? How you been? Uh, I've been on hiatus forever, and it's really... I'm annoyed with myself. Uh, but, I mean, I've been pretty busy lately, so that's pretty much my excuse for not making a lot of videos. Um, I know I've been doing, like, a lot of spiritually type stuff, and I'm still gonna do be doing that, but I've just been feeling really inclined to go back to my roots, you know? To just start talking about fashion and makeup and stuff that I love like I've just for a while I was going through a phase where I felt like I couldn't be into my spirituality and I had to leave all that stuff behind but I'm just learning like I can integrate it all like it's all a part of me it's all a part of my one awesomeness obviously as you can tell in the title this is a Jeffrey Campbell shoe unboxing video. I have never owned a pair of Jeffrey Campbell shoes before in my life. I've been eyeing them for, I want to say, about a year and a half, maybe two years, and I've finally mustered up the courage to buy them now that I'm out of my little financial funk. I actually have money to where I can splurge every now and then, and I've been doing a lot of splurging lately just to kind of make up for the lost time where I couldn't shop for like eight months because uh, of reasons and things that I'm not really going to go into and if you've been following me on my Tumblr and Twitter and everything else you'll pretty much know what's been going on. Yeah, so this is my pretty beautiful Jeffrey Camel spiked damsel shoe. This is a platform boot. I do believe the platform is about two inches high and the heel is seven inches, so you do get quite a bit of elevation. Um, I've never really owned a platform boot before, so it was very interesting <laughs> putting this on because I it made me quite tall, but not it wasn't t too much or overwhelming. I just kind of wasn't used to feeling like a Neanderthal. What I completely love about this shoe is that it's fake leather. It's faux leather, so no cows, no moo cows are harmed in the making of the shoe, which I'm so excited about and so happy. And because that was one thing I, that was kind of keeping me from buying this, but when I did my research and looked at the descriptions and found out it was faux leather, I was gung ho and I said, "Let's do that." What really makes the shoe pop are its spikes. Um, it has a few um, on like the inside, like the part that faces your leg or whatever it has more flat studs and then on the outer part in the back it has more of the um pokey spikes and these are sharp I will lie like they when you touch them they are sharp so um you definitely want to be careful with the shoe and you definitely want to be mindful about who you wear this shoe around would not recommend wearing this around small children not that you would want to wear them around small children I'm just saying. Another thing I like about the shoe, because they're so sharp, like, it would make pretty good rape repellent. I know if I happen to want to get curious and wander down a dark alleyway, um, I'll be pretty protected if anybody tries to apprehend me and snatch me away in the night from behind. These shoes are very well packaged, and since I am starting to collect more statement pieces, actually statement shoes lately, it comes in good packaging. Um... Uh, it comes with styrofoam that, that wraps around the, uh, the spikes, and then it comes with more to go around the front. So these shoes can definitely be well taken care of, and I will definitely be keeping these in the box when I'm not wearing them. Like my other shoes that I just have a shoe shelf in my closet, and I just place them there. These will be staying in the box. I think all my Jeffrey Campbells and other statement shoes from other brands that I might purchase in the future will stay in the box, but I feel like I'm being redundant. The actual packaging, like the box itself, I freaking love, like, oh my gosh, like the front of the box has freaking kitty cats on it, like I just love this, like anybody who knows me knows I freaking love kitties. Inside, it's got little, like this, oh my gosh, I loved this, like this had little ads and stuff for <laughs> cats and it's like Jeffrey cat bell like pun <laughs> and whatnot I love the yoga the cat doing yoga that's my favorite one especially because it has like the name of the shoe on the outside of the box so that will definitely make organization a lot better as I accumulate more of these shoes oh god help my bank account and then it also comes with a nice little disclaimer 
in the box with a little porcupine. Isn't that freaking cool? Like, I, I'm just, I'm a sucker for witty packaging. Honestly, the box is what completely sold me, which is kind of sad, but I digress. Yeah, these shoes were originally, um, I want to say they run retail for $180. Um, ow! <laughs> shoes are dangerous. Oh my gosh, I'm going to like stab myself and I'm just like stabbing myself in the face right now. <laughs> I bought these through Urban Outfitters and for those who don't know, I now work there and I'm gainfully employed. I'm still at Ulta too, so in case y'all wanted cared or wanted to know so two jobs ooh look at my indian man lame had my employee discount help alleviate the damage <laughs> that i was going to do to my wallet so i think i only paid maybe um 118 for these well, FTC thing, Urban's not paying me to do this review, they're not paying me to say anything about these shoes, they just pay my phone bill and car insurance and stuff. So far I'm completely sold on these shoes, they do run true to size, the shoes totally run true to true to true to size, true to size, I'm I got these in an 8, so if you are whatever shoe size you are and you get that size, you should be fine. Um, they are a little... They aren't, they are snug, but they're not like tight snug. They're very comfortable to walk in. Um, I didn't have any trouble walking in these at all. I was very taken aback by the height that they give me. I felt like I was in the Himalayas or some 5'3", so it just was a little, it was, it took me aback a little bit. I kind of had to get used to it for five seconds. I'm not sure how easy they would be to drive in. I don't have a car anymore, so I won't be able to test that out for a little bit. I'm going to be a Jeffrey Campbell fan for as long as he exists and continues to make shoes. I just, I love these so much and I just, I'm waiting for an excuse to just wear these out. I'm supposed to go hang out with my best friend if she finishes her homework soon, and I, she lives right around the corner from me, and I will totally just wear these to her house. I don't even care. I will do it, because I just, I need an excuse to wear these, and I love them so freaking much. Ugh. I'm going to show you what they look like on really quick, okay?